another opportunity to speak to y'all. Thank you again for just just being here and coming to worship with us this morning. Um, so happy to be here. <laughs> so happy to be here and even more happy to be alive. So this morning I want to read from the book of Philippians 2, 12 to 13, which says, Dear friends, you have you always followed my instructions when I was with you. And now that I am away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. And today, I'm just grateful for... I'm grateful for God being in my life and in the lives of the people around me and him giving us the power to help and for the Holy Spirit just having a presence in, in all of our lives. So what I'm going to speak about this morning is more of a testimony you know sometimes i i'd like to sort of tell you all stories about my life um because it, again one is this is a safe space here obviously but two you never know who's listening how it could relate right so yesterday indira had asked me to close the room you know and and i had closed the room and how i always close it i say be conscious of your surroundings you know, like, you know, some kind word or, you know, you could do something that helps somebody. And let me tell you all how real God is. You know, and nobody could change my mind about how real God is because something happened to me yesterday and I had such an overwhelming feeling of the Holy Spirit around me um, that like it literally brought, like, like I it made me sort of emotional, right? So... Every month, I don't know if I, I told you all this before, but every month, I, um, whenever I go to pay my power bill, right, um, I use it as an opportunity to tithe because I tithe every Sunday in church now, don't get me wrong, but this is sort of like a thing that I do um, because I realize when I go to the electricity and I go to the main electricity company, I don't pay it via my bank, I don't do it like that. Every single time I go into this main electricity company, um, which is where you have to go, like, say, in, for instance, if your power is turned off or, you know what I mean? And, and every single time I do this, you know, the Lord leads me to somebody who either really needs it or, you know, like he, last, last, um, last month he led me to a pastor, you know. Um, the month before it was, you know, like an older lady. And I, I usually look for older persons because... I already am like, you know, why someone this age coming into having to still pay their own bills, but that neither here nor there. We ain't go we ain't talk about that. But anyway, so I, I prayed before I always do this and I, I prayed before I went and I said, um, you know, God um lead my hand and I could give this to somebody that really needs it, you know. And I um I, f I always take the money and I put it in a different pocket in my pants and I, I went to pay my bill. And I, it was a funny day because hardly nobody was in there. And it was maybe two or three people on the line. And um, two of them was old persons. One was already at the cashier's window. So I looked up at this old lady and I was like, okay, she's a perfect candidate. But then when I look, I, I see she pulled out this big water cash out of her purse to pay her bill. And I was like, oh, no, it ain't her. And um, I saw her just turn around. And there was this lady sitting down in a chair, like away from the cashier's window. And um, she was like, you know, like, you know, when you see somebody and they like, they counting. But she was sort of like, like, you know, when people trying to see their money, so they like counting the money two and three times, like to see is this real or whatever. And, you know, I, I turned to her and I, um, I, I folded the money in my hand and I, I gave her the money. And I, and I walked off and I, I just cut hair in the background saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and I, um, I went to the window and paid my bill. <coughs> and, you know, the lady told me 
when my bill was, and, and I'm not telling y'all not a word of lie here. My bill was the lowest it has ever been since I owned my home. I mean, I, I asked a lady about three or four times. I said, this can't be right. I said, you sure? I said, because I don't want to get surprised next month with some exorbitant bill because, you know, I was like, you sure? And she was like, yeah, this is all it is. She said, so I say, okay, let me check my business one. And I asked her to check my company's bills, and she said, you don't owe us any money. And I was like, what? And she was like, no, you don't. And I was like, oh, praise God, thank you anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but whatever. So when I was, I noticed the lady was waiting, um, like at next to this other section. Um, and when I was, I was, she was waiting, obviously, I guess she was waiting on me because I had my son with me because he's still on Easter break. And, um, she reached out on and she was like, God bless you, you know? And I was like, no, I was like, thank you, mom. I appreciate it. I said, but you know, God bless you too or whatever, you know? And, um, she walked off and I hear, I overheard her saying, God, you gave me exactly what I needed. And she walked over to the to the collection side, which is the part where you have to go to turn your power back on. So that means that this lady's power was off, right? And God stepped in for her that day, and, and I don't know what her prayer was, and I don't know what my purpose was that day, you know what I mean? But but me walking into this place knowing that I wanted God to direct my steps, help somebody. And that was my testimony, but I even have a better testimony than this. So listen to this. This is what really made me emotional. When I walked outside, I walked to my truck, put my son in my truck, and I, I heard this person shout out, Carrie. And um, I turned around and... um. It was this guy who um he used to be homeless. And he was in the power company's uniform and, and I he was a friend, you know, and, and he used to sleep on the beach and he, he had a couple of hard years, man. And I mean and I say couple, I mean a lot, you know? Um and I was like uh I was like T, I ain't gonna call his name, you know. I, I was like, T, what you saying, boy? You know, and he's like, man, I'm right here, boy. I, I say, boy, man, you working now? And he was like, yeah. And he, he was like, I was like, man, God is so good, you know. I was like, I'm so happy for you, you know, because I used to pray for him years ago, you know. And I was like, man, God is so good. And he's like, yeah, man, Garrett, it's my second day to work, you know. And I was like, look at God, eh? I was like, God, like, 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 he brought this man out of the rubble, you know, out of the ashes. Because, you know, he, he they, this man had to, had to live on the beach and he was li like working around our downtown area, just um, just working security jobs at night. And like he always kept himself graceful, you know, where you wouldn't know he was homeless, you know, because you would just think he was a security guard. But after he get off work at the clubs, you know, he would work all night as a security guard and sleep on the beach in the day, you know. And and he's done that for years until he caught himself, you know, and and um I was just so happy to see the turnaround that God made in his life, you know, and and I just wanted to say that I just you know, I always just randomly open up my app and I pick this this verse and just so that I could reiterate this to someone this morning, I wanna read this part of the verse again. It says Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. And every single person that hears my voice, I want you to notice that God has a purpose for you. Whether your purpose is to help somebody for one day, or whether it's to help somebody for the rest of your life, but allow God to take control in you. Allow him to do his will. Give him that opportunity. 
And you ain't gonna ever need for nothing. You ain't gonna ever lack nothing. You ain't gonna miss out on nothing, I promise you. But just be reminded that you have a purpose. There's something bigger than what you could see. You can never understand God ways. It's like trying to count the sand on a beach. But just remember that like, if you feel today like you have to give up or you won't give up, don't give up. If you're feeling depressed today, that's normal. But just pray to God to open up your life so that you can now have a purpose for life. Because listen, your purpose matters. It could be something small, but it matters. It matters to me. It matters to everyone in this room. But you have a purpose. It's a reason for you being here. You deserve to be here. We want you here. I'm Kerry. Thank you for this opportunity to speak. I relinquish my mic.